people, 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 people. Que pasa, sapa, say what they do. Now, the first thing that is popping in the news is an update about two separate incidents that took place in St. Anne. And we saw that those two incidents had the people in a Jamaica sentence outrage because of the severity of the crime. In the first incident, it is said that a 20 year old farmer jumped over the fence of a 5 year old boy. That means he entered through the exhaust. In the second incident, which was even more startling, it is said that a 13 year old schoolgirl she went to stay with her grandmother because the mother had to go to work. And when she went to the grandmother's house, the grandmother wasn't there. So therefore she went to a store in a some little back bush, some little alley, some little bush bush. In which she was dragged into a house by a man that basically jumped through the back door also. And while he was in his action, he was joined by four other men. So people were speaking about five men. Now, people, what is even more disturbing other than the act is that in the first case, as it pertains to the farmer, he went to court. On the first day of going to court, he was given $300,000 bail by the judge and he was released on condition of bail, of course. That means that he had to report and he had to keep away from the place, keep away from the family and even more specifically, keep away from the little boy come to hear people the other day again as it pertains to the 13 year old that was same thing two or three of those persons were also given bail three hundred and fifty thousand dollars now people when you talk about in the first case three hundred thousand dollars jamaican we are speaking about just over two thousand us in the next case, less than that. I don't have the correct calculation right now. However, based on what they were said to have been charged for, we would be surprised that they even got bail, much less a low bail, because people, that is not really any amount of money for their act. Now, the thing that concerns me is that it is said that as wise as a judge, so therefore, in the first case, which outraged me is the fact that this man, a five-year-old, $300,000 bill. So I say to myself, hold on a minute, it's either he might jump over the judge fence or there are some sort of family or something is political. There are some sort of link, some sort of cult going on here. He might have some sort of super lawyer because I don't understand that. I don't understand how he would have even been considered for any sorts of bail. And then me think about it. I said to myself, and people, this is just me guessing right now. I said to myself, maybe the evidence was weak. Now people, the truth and the facts is that if you are charged for something like this, it means that you did something wrong, very wrong. So therefore, if you went to court and the judge had the details, unless the judge is smoking upon some sort of C-R-A-C-K-R mod P-U-S-S-P-I-S-S, -S -S, he should not have granted any sorts of bail. However, if the judge in his own conscience and um, professionalism thought that something is fundamentally wrong with the evidence, something is not really right about this, that is why he would have granted him that sort of bail. So people, it is either one of two things. Either him and the judge in some sort of family relationship, some sort of, you know what I mean? Or some sort of top liar, some sort of, you know what I mean? We are talking about power. We are talking about group. We are talking about body, body club. That means that the liar and the judge are friends. However, the truth and the fact is that would this judge put his career on the line, his reputation on the line, for his friend and people, I am not saying that it does not happen. Me just I say it is hardly likely. So therefore, it means as if the evidence was weak. Either this man did not do what people say him do. 
something is into something. That is the point that I am trying to make. Now, I know that when I give my opinion on YouTube, people are always saying, yo, that don't make no sense because, of course, me and them supposed to think alike. Me and them supposed to give the same opinion. However, I am basing it off common sense. So, therefore, if you have a next opinion, leave it in the comment section. Now, people, in the case of the 13-year-old, based on the evidence in the court, based on the court documentation, it is said that the 13 year old she is having conflicting statements the statement that she gave on the day in which the persons were arrested it is conflicting it is contradicting to what she is saying right now so therefore that is the basis in which three other people i think two or three three i think not a hundred percent sure however i know that it is at least two and it is said that the bail it is Confirmed the bail was $350,000 each. Condition of bail, of course. That means that uh, them have to report, them have to check in, them have to surrender all sorts of documents, traveling documents, rate, lele, blah, blah, blah. So, people, I say this to say that with all that is going on in Jamaica right now, with people actually getting hurt, it is very disturbing to see that person are actually taking people to courts. And people remember these are some little pitney. So therefore, it's not like some big people. However, sometimes these children, their decision is based on the decision of their parents. So therefore, I say this to say that somebody could have something against you and being very vindictive and tell them pitney for say, I you did this, I you did that. And people don't get it twisted, don't get it misconstrued. I am not saying that it is not possible. However, there is something definitely wrong for the judges back to back to do that, to make decisions like that, wherein persons are getting $300,000 and also $350,000 bail. That means that the case weak, the statements are inconsistent, the judge feel as if these people might be innocent instead of being guilty. So people, I say this to say that once again, with all that is going on in Jamaica, we should try to focus our efforts on the persons that are actually victim. Instead of persons making up all sorts of frivolous charges and getting people's name mixed up because people, the truth and the fact is that the way how Jamaica is homophobic, it is hard to find five persons in a one spot that would actually jump over the fence, the exhaust, the back fence, back door. Of a little picnic, people, me nah say it's not possible. Me just I say it is kind of the possibility or the probabilities are very low, point blank and period. And as sick as Jamaica is, even with all that is going on, I just thought to myself something is very wrong. Five people, one place, I do the same thing. No, sir, it is as if Saint Anne must be some sort of fish capital for that to happen, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.